What is happening, Whiskey Chaser fam? Welcome back to another video out here with the Bullet Mustang that we saw in the last episode. Trying to get this thing back into roadworthy condition. Don't worry, I'm gonna ride motorcycles. This is still gonna be motorcycles, man. But I'm gonna take this thing, you can see how dirty it is, go get it washed, and then put some gas in it, make sure that it's all good to go. I thought that the battery was dead, but it actually started right up, no problem. I do have the battery jumper just in case but I think it should be okay. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing fantastic. If this is your first time here, go ahead and uh, check those links down below. We have a Patreon, we have my subscription button that you can go ahead and hit. It's free to join and all that kind of good stuff. Let's get in the car. Well, first thing is I have to take all this crap out of here because there's a lot. There's pots and pans. There's an Xbox 360. Um, I don't even know really what else is in there oh there's a bike rack there's hey there's motorcycle parts this is the mid controls for the sportster right here so hey that's cool might have some mid controls to sell to somebody pretty soon make a little money to put into the sportster all right let's get this thing cleaned out and take it for a spin All right, much roomier in here, way better with all of that stuff taken out of there. Let's turn this down a little bit, jeez. Gonna have to go over to the bank because Parker needed me to go and deposit some money. And then uh, we'll head over to a car wash. I'll get this thing washed up. Hopefully I can get the interior kind of fixed up a little bit as well and cleaned up. It actually doesn't look terrible. I mean, the, there's a little bit of dirt, a little bit of peeling on the, on the doors and stuff. And obviously this, this thing, definitely do with the replacing and this is kind of busted right here but overall it's really not terrible so yeah I'll see you at the car wash I guess oh baby man I forgot how much fun this thing is to drive oh it's so loud it's so quick <laughs> it's, it's so fast probably shouldn't record while I do this because I need both hands and one of them is obviously holding the camera We'll try it anyway here. Give a little bit of a pull. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, all done with the bank run. We're going through the car wash right now. I did just opt for a touchless car watch. And I know people are gonna have their problem with that, but I did that for a reason, which is number one. I just need the glass cleaned, really. It's very bad. Uh, the rest of the paint, I'll do at home. I'll get some good stuff and I'll actually clean it. But number two, I wanted to check and see if there was any leaks in here because I wasn't sure if it had been sitting for too long, if there was any leaks along the door seals or anything like that. And I don't, I don't feel anything, which is great. So I think we're pretty good in here. I'm not feeling any water coming through, which is fantastic, so cool. Uh, let's see what it looks like at the end of this thing. All right, everything in here is looking pretty good, all things considered. Has not been driven in about three, two and a half, three years, uh, except for just a few times, just a handful of times. I'm looking right now and my, my temperature gauge is actually not working so I'm wondering what that's all about I'll look up and see if that's a common thing or if there's I mean obviously there's something I need to replace but I'd like to know if the car is overheating <laughs> mechanically running great feels great shifts really smooth picks up really well and I can actually see through the windows now which is fantastic that car wash actually was 
was not bad. So I'll get started on a list of things that I need to do for this. To get it roadworthy, we'll start doing, I don't know, some of the little things, replacing some of these little interior pieces that are cheap. And then I want to check out that temperature gauge for sure. That's something that, it doesn't concern me, but it's definitely something that I would like to get fixed sooner rather than later. And there's also a mount. Uh, one of the hooks for the exhaust is is busted. It's one of the rubber mounts and it, that needs to be replaced as well because one of the exhaust pipes is hanging lower than the other one. It's still in the metal part, but it's not rubber. Like it's not in the rubber mount. So uh, ugh, even though it's safe, it still looks good. All right, well, let's get her home parked and on to <laughs> whatever else I'm gonna do today. <laughs> All right, Whiskey Chaser fam, welcome back. Uh, it is not the same day. <laughs> it is like a day or two later, I'm not quite sure. And I'm headed out right now, ugh, downtown Nashville for a job. I don't wanna say interview, it's not quite an interview, but they have an opening there. And they asked me to come stop by, so I'm going down there to go check it out, see what that's all about. For those who are wondering, I uh, work at a brewery right now, but the problem is, man, I don't make any freaking money. I thought it was gonna be awesome to have like a seven to three or eight to four job, Monday through Friday, be off on the weekends, be able to take off for going out and traveling to different, you know, meats and stuff like that. So this kind of rolls into uh, like Laconia is this week. It currently is going on right now. And everybody keeps asking me, everybody keeps asking me if I'm going to Laconia. Man, I wish I could go to Laconia. I, I do. And the thing is, is like, I have kind of the time to do it. I could jump in the truck. If I had a trailer, I'd take the bike and I could make it up there and it would take me Probably a day. The problem is I don't have any money. <laughs> it's gonna cost like $500 just in gas to be able to do that. The problem before was I had the money, I just couldn't do it because I didn't have the time because I was working at a bar. In bars, you make money on the weekends. So your Thursday, Friday, Saturday, your mini money days. And whenever I was I was working there, it was like everybody would always like text me and be like, oh, we're going out this weekend. We're gonna go ride on Saturday, da, da, whatever. And I'm like, not me. I can't because I have to work. So I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna try getting a regular Monday through Friday job so that I can start doing stuff like that. And man, it's just not working. It's unfortunate. So it's like, what do I do? You know, do I, do I work at a place that I make really good money, but I have no time to do stuff? Or do I work for a place where I have all the time I need, but I can't make any money? It's like, either way, I'm screwed. But at least if I'm working for a place where I'm making good money, if I don't have time to do stuff, usually bars and restaurants are very open to letting you have the time off to go do these things. So it got me thinking again about it. I was like, man, I think it's time. I tried to get away from it. We'll see how it goes. By the way, Frank Cam is back. I got a actual billet uh, camera mount and this is kind of the only position I could put this thing in that doesn't interfere with my quad lock. I don't really like it too much but I'm gonna fiddle around with it and see what's going on. I got it so they could go straight up and down because it's supposed to have this rotation here and I was gonna be able to like turn it around, go any way, whatever, look at all directions. I obviously just need to get a 360 cam. <laughs> But I can't afford to have a 360 cam because I don't have any money. If I can't afford to go to Laconia, I can't afford a 360 cam. But I think that this mount is going to help a lot with the shake. It doesn't look like this thing is shaking nearly as bad. Plus, like I said, it's it's uh, aluminum. So hopefully it won't break on me since I had two break on me just driving down the street. I mean, I was on the highway, but still, what kind of bullshit is that? Tell you what, as we're making our way into downtown Nashville, going over the absolutely beautiful Cumberland River right now, let's go ahead and talk about our Patreon member of the week, who's gonna be Jake from State Farm, who is awesome dude from down in Florida. He actually just sent me a shirt. He was like, 
hey man, uh, I went to uh, Key West and I got you this shirt. And I'm like, hell yeah, dog. That's super appreciative. He was gonna get me a medium, but then he said the medium looked like it could fit a tie hooker. So he got me a large. <laughs> From the hog's breath, I think. I really wanna make it down to Key West. That'd be super, super awesome. Jake's killer, man. Jake is so fun to be around. Uh, super unassuming. You look at him and you're like, oh man, this guy's just a big old quiet teddy bear. Nah. You get a few beers in that guy, get a few hard Mountain Dews, and he turns into an animal. <laughs> so all y'all, if you could do me a favor, go follow Jake from State Farm on Instagram, and also go to his YouTube page and give him a subscribe. He's a super cool guy. He makes great videos. Doesn't have a lot of videos, but he's got enough to keep you entertained for a little while. So do it. Go sub, go follow. Jake from State Farm, thank you, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Congratulations on being this week's Patreon member of the week. All right, this is the bar. Where can I park? Ooh, I know there's parking up there. This is where I parked the very first time I ever came to Nashville. I have a video for that. It's right here. You go watch it after this one. All right, let's go talk to these guys. Later. Hey, bike's still there. <laughs> Thumbs up. Well, good thing is the interview went pretty well. It was actually an interview. Bad thing is it did rain out here while I was inside. Uh, but it doesn't look like uh, the bike is really all that wet. All right, let's see here. So I want to, I think I want to go get some whiskey. And I want to try, I want to check this place out that I've been seeing. It's a, um, it's a warehouse. Frugal McDougal, that's what it's called. Frugal McDougal. All right, turn it on. Let's go. People are always uh, telling me, hey, on your channel, you should go chasing whiskey. And uh, I agree with you. I totally should. So that's what, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna try to find something a little weird, a little different. Probably something local-ish. Don't want to spend a whole lot of money because as I have said multiple times, I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> so I'll find something probably around the $20, $20, dollars range. Nothing too crazy, but something different, you know? Something, I'll, something I want to try out. So one thing I really liked about this job, interview, thing, whatever, is that whenever I spoke to him about continuing with the vlog here, I uh, was very open to it. He said, you know what? That sounds really cool. And as long as we have adequate time to know where you're going, if you're gonna be gone, all this stuff, whatever, he goes, we have no problem with it. He said, if you request a day off and it's three weeks out, I'm gonna give it to you. And he says like that with every employee. It's such a nice, refreshing mentality to have with you know a, a group of people because it's like if if you're telling somebody with three weeks I have somewhere I need to be and you can't figure that out for them like tough titties dude <laughs> tough titties deal with it find somebody else do it yourself do you want me to work for you begrudgingly like be upset and angry my entire shift that I was supposed to be off doing something that was obviously important enough for me to put in my request? Or do you want to find somebody who can work and just make them work? Not make them work, but you know, find somebody who didn't put a request off in. And we talked about that for a little while and it, it's so nice that somebody agrees with that. You know, it comes from working in this industry it's definitely somebody who sees that and is like yeah i get it i was that person too and there's so many people who like you work for them and they're they're not restaurant people but they got a job it's like a manager somewhere and so now all of a sudden they're in charge and they just have this different mentality of how things should be you know what is going on here Anyways, it was really nice talking to him about that and finding that he understood that. 
So hopefully he'll give me, you know, a call or an email here in the next couple of days, and we can see what's go what's going on. Frugal McDougal Liquor Warehouse and Wine. Ooh, and beer. I like beer too. See, all the liquor stores that I've been to have not been that big. They've all been really small or didn't have a huge selection or the selection they did have was just basic stuff that everybody has. I want to see something interesting. I want to see something a little weird. All right, let's check it out. All right, back at the bike. Let's see what I got here. I ended up getting Creek Water American Whiskey. I never heard of it before, and it's 100 proof, and it was like 20 bucks. So checked a lot of boxes off. <laughs> I need something cheap, I need something strong, and it's gonna get it done. And I think that's gonna get it done, my friends. All right, let's head home and pop this thing open. Try it out see how it is if it's any good or did I just waste 20 dollars <laughs> all right made it home got my whiskey and we're gonna give this thing a little try if I can get it open oh it's hunter proof yeah, but it didn't taste like it. Super cherry flavored. Very cherry flavored. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. That's like literally like black cherries. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's tasty. But that's dangerous. Mmm. All right. Well, whiskey chase finally chased some whiskey. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you liked it, definitely leave me a like down below. Check out the other links and everything I have in the description. Also, thanks to Jake from state farm for being the patreon member of the week yeah, appreciate you bro cheers that was for you uh subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff okay bye